The door slamming was a big part of the show. Do you remember? Yeah, I think that was just me. I like, I just thought it was funny, you know, it was sort of Moliere-ish and theatrical and, you know, it was great punctuation. I, I, I have this theory about television that you, that you need to startle. Um, it, it tends to happen in an environment where other things are going on as opposed to, you know, that sort of dedicated thing that happens in a movie theater. So, and there was also something, and Bruce said this very early on, he recognized that there was something inherently musical about the show. The, the cadence of the speech and the, and the doors, if you listen to them, are invariably part of that cadence. And we would stand on a dubbing stage and, and I would, I was very particular about the sound of the slam, you know. It sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Yeah, they, had, they, they could repitch them and do different things having to do with how far away the camera was, you know, what the perspective was and what kind of door it was. And the doors on a stage invariably are very light. You know, they're hollow and because you, you don't have anything to really bear the weight. So you have to put in the sound of the door slam. And I was always very particular about how heavy those doors should seem and, you know, all that stuff. It's silly. No, they started to reinforce them early on. They got the, they got the idea that this was going to happen a lot. <laughs> so we, we did start to reinforce them, but um, they still never made the sound you'd want them to actually make. Another element was shooting in the car, uh, long yes. sequences. That was, that for us, that became um, an economical way to work, to be honest with you, because you could shoot a five-page scene. They were sitting. They weren't moving. We had three cameras on the car, and frankly, you weren't waiting. For, you know, there was a lot of strife on the set. That's pretty well known. And so a lot of times you were waiting for, you were waiting, frankly, most often for Sybil to show up so you could shoot. Now you had them in the car. They're locked in this car. They can't get out. <laughs> um, and so you got a huge page count accomplished in a fairly short time. 